Putting crime into focus for you, deadly gun violence is surging in Chicago once again. Police say at least 57 people were shot since Friday evening during one of the most violent weekends on record. At least 11 were killed. There were 25 victims from five shootings during one particularly aggressive two and a half hour period. In the Englewood neighborhood, stray bullets hit two men working on a pool deck of a home. One of the victims ran inside to call 911. He just was actually trying to help the other guy. The caller survived. His co worker did not. Chicago police say over a 24 hour period, 34 people were shot and five died. The youngest survivor is an 11 year old shot in the leg. Chicago police say everyone has to be held accountable, not just law enforcement. We need more help from our uh, judicial system. We need more help from our federal partners, and we're getting it. Justice for everybody. Just before the chaotic weekend, more than 200 demonstrators marched Thursday at an anti violence rally. Blue on black violence, black on black violence. We're interested in all the violence stopping. Some want the resignations of the city's police superintendent, Eddie Johnson, and Mayor Rahm Emanuel. On Sunday, police pointed out that despite the weekend violence, murders in the city are down 25% so far this year. Shootings are down more than 30%. We can never measure what we prevent. What we can see is less victims. While the numbers are heading down, organizers of last week's protests say their next move may be to try to disrupt operations at O'Hare International Airport to drive home the point that more needs to be done. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.